Hello, just Jamie here. So today's video is going to be covering the Atari 2600. If you're new to old consoles like this, the Atari 2600 came out in 1997 and it was pretty much the first mainstream console of the second generation. Uh, games were very expensive, around 40 to 50 pounds here in the UK, probably around 60 to 70 dollars in the US at the time. So a little bit of backstory, Atari started manufacturing game machines for arcades back in the day. A uh, new CEO took over and thought to herself, let's take this to the home and hence we got our Atari 2600. There's a few different models of the Atari 2600, the one on screen right now is called the Woody, there's also a really nice one called the Darth Vader which is black rather than wood, and then later on came the Atari 2600 Junior which was tiny compared with the original two models. So Stella, the emulator we're using, is called Stella because that's the code name of the Atari 2600 during the development of it. So let's just go on with this tutorial and get you started. So first things first, follow the link in my description, it will take you to the Stella page. So from here you just go down to stable releases under download. I'm using a 64-bit system, so that's my CPU. If you're using a 32-bit, then just download the 32-bit XE. I'm also using Windows 11, and as this shows just there, it will work uh, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, and 11. It's also going to work on Linux and Mac OS, but like I say, for this tutorial, this is for Windows. So just left-click and download this. Uh, it's fine to keep this file, it's been used millions of times around the world at this point and no one's ever complained about it messing things up. So just keep this. And then just from here, you just go left click on this and install it, so yes. Next, and this part is optional wherever you want this in to install to, I'm going to just default install this to my C drive program files. Next next and to create a desktop icon leave this checked next and install and finish so we're done with this page now we no longer need this just close this down and let's open up stella which has just created a shortcut double left click on it so you're presented with this interface and what it's doing is asking you where it can look for our game files. In my case I've got a game Donkey Kong 1987 which is a .bin file and these support .bin files very nicely. So to run it all we need to do is just double left click on the game just here which has the Atari logo next to it. And here we go. So I've just plugged in my controller, PS3 controller, and it works fine. So you don't need to configure your controller, Stella just automatically detects. So obviously the Atari 2600 has one button, so it just naturally uses my X button on my controller. So I remember as a kid, um, probably in the very late 80s, I'd play on my mum and dad's Atari 2600, and they were very expensive even at that point. So considering uh, they went out of production in 1992, we've got the Nintendo NES 8-bit and we've also got Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive, uh, you can tell that the Atari 2600 was a very popular system. So let's just shut this down, but first I need to rescue. So let's just close this down, and of course this is Super Mario as your playable character. Other things we can do with Stella, if we open this one back up. If we go to options here, and if we go to user interface, you can get different themes for the simulator, which are pretty cool. So as a standard, it's default with a standard, but we can also try different things here. So just select dark, OK, and that looks a bit slicker. Some might disagree, some might agree. Uh, other things we got here under options is video and audio. So right now it's not selected full screen, so you've just got a box window. If we just check full screen and OK, close. 
And I'm going to run Donkey Kong once more, so double left click. There we go, that looks a lot smarter, so let's play this again. <laughs> And you get the picture, so to exit this full screen, we just press escape. If you want this as a window size scan, then we obviously go back to window and you uncheck full screen. We've also got TV effects, so if you want a filter on this, if we just go down on TV mode, we can have plenty of things going on here to make it look more retro, so say bad adjust, OK. And close, let's load up Donkey Kong again. So if you can see, there's a very slight blur, it almost looks like an old aerial cable type blur in which the Atari 2600 had. Uh, no HDMI or even SCART leads on the Atari 2600 models. So let's close this one down again and escape to bring you back here. And one of the cool things about this emulator, which the original Atari 2600s didn't have, was the ability to save. So to do this, all we need to do is go to Options we go to emulation at the bottom here you're going to see save current state in current slot you're also going to see low save all time machine states if we just go to save current state press ok ok close so something else which Stella is really good at doing is speeding things up for some reason you will, might want your game of pac-man speeded up so to do this we're going to go to emulation from here you've got turbo mode VSync is already enabled and keep this enabled or checked. We've also got multi threading, so it's going to work on pretty much any processor. Remember, the Atari 2600 hardware is very primitive, so a lot of computers are going to work with these games, so just keep it checked, you know, that's fine. Okay, that's about it for the Atari 2600 Stella tutorial. As you can see, it's a very simple tutorial for a very basic system. Um, as always with these old vintage and retro systems, there's always an active community. So if you just Google Atari 2600 latest games, you'll even find a game of Halo, believe it or not, Microsoft Halo. Someone's actually made their own version of it for the Atari 2600. So if you're still interested in my tutorials and you love Atari, check out my Atari ST tutorial and the Atari Lynx tutorial as well as loads of other tutorials at this point. So thanks for watching, take care.